you were looking at the protected Natanz uranium enrichment facility. Now, this is one of Iran's most crucial spots that they try to keep under heavy protection. And this might have a little something to do with the last video that I put out. Iran has now unveiled a whole new arsenal of missiles, surface to air, of UAVs, all kinds of stuff. And now they have downed an Israeli spy drone near their nuclear plant. So they're stating it shot it down in this nu nuclear off-limits area and that it was operating in stealth mode, radar evasive. So somehow they picked this up. It was targeted by a ground-to-air missile, and they took it down. Now, they have fired missiles at drones in the area before, and they've missed. And they've brought down, by other, other means, several other small drones that Israel was flying in the area as well. But they're stating that this area—and here's a good shot of— this is what he's he's always said, Iran, Iran, Iran. Iran's developing these nuclear weapons, and Israel's not supposed to have any either, but everyone knows they do. And at this point, it's, it's just more of, of the cat and mouse game here. It shows that Israel is keeping their eyes on everything that's going on inside of Iran. And I think what you'll see is something similar to what we saw in Syria, that if they think something big time is going on. They're just going to go ahead and they're going to hit them and, and try to take out the facility. Now, if they try to take out this facility, it would spark a big war because this is what everything's riding on for the Iranians. Above ground, that is. So I'll leave a link so you guys can uh, read the rest of the article, but just want to let it be known that Iran stepping up their game with weaponry Israel keeping a close eye, and now that Iran has shot down the stealth UAV, they're going to start back engineering it. So, just a heads up, this has been Dabu7. Eyes to the skies.